Hey guys and gals and welcome to another video from the team here at BlenderTech.com. If you enjoy it or learn something from the video, consider liking it and consider subscribing for more Blender, Unity, 3D, coding, and all sorts of other CG related videos. Lastly, don't forget our motto, create your way. So, Andrew Price was promising us the Grass Essentials tutorial to be released a couple days ago and I saw he posted a couple teasers and they looked absolutely beautiful but he's now late and the the latest update is the Grass Essentials tutorial will be online within a couple hours. Thanks for your patience, everyone. In the meantime, because I know that that will be a half hour tutorial on making some of the most beautiful grass you can, I'm going to show you a, a very quick way to create grass that I was taught. A very, it's a very easy way to do it and it works for uh, most simple scenes. Let's get started. I was up all night recording some footage for my new gaming channel, Got to Play It All and uh, ended up not sleeping at all so after I record this I'm going to take a nap and then after I wake up one of the benefits of uh, working from home I will be creating and finishing the tutorial on how to create and destroy a, a skyscraper that somebody requested I thought that would be a fun one to get into again as I've done in the past I'll show you a little teaser here So to make simple grass, let's create a mesh plane. This will be our field if you will. So I'm going to scale it up five times, pretty much as simple as that for now. Grass. What does grass remind you of? Hair. You, you hear the jokes about about um, grass being hair and people's people's heads being like a, like a grassy lawn or whatever and um, so that makes you think well how can I recreate that in blender well let's use a hair emitter so let's create a new particle system we'll call it grass I'm gonna actually call this plane field of grass so we don't want an emitter we want to switch over to hair so now we have some pretty crazy looking strands there so anyways let's uh let's bump the number up maybe let's try 5000 yeah it looks like it'll work it's not too dense but it's it's pretty dense the hair length however uh, i think it's about zero decimals zero fifty I guess it depends on how you're looking at it. I mean, it completely depends on your scene and the scale of the rest of your objects. I'm going to leave it at that length. That looks pretty good considering the scale of this uh, of this plane. Of course, it could be adjusted to, to any size. I would suggest something more like 0 decimal 1, maybe maybe a quarter. 0 decimal 250, I think probably a good size for all-around general use. Again, depending on the scale of your scene. Under hair dynamics... We want to check that off and this is where uh, getting realistic hair or in our case grass will come into effect when we go to animate it however we're not gonna we're not gonna do that yet instead we are gonna go straight to rendering it and we need a material to render so let's create a new material and we are gonna need to call well we'll create that one for the plane we'll just call this a uh, ground and we'll just give it a basic brown color. I'll drag and drop that into the viewport color. So we have a nice little ground color, just basic, nothing fancy. I'm gonna add a new material. I'm gonna call this one grass. Let's split our windows open and let's go into the node editor and edit the grass material. Now, we are gonna want a diffuse shader. However, the magic that comes into making quick and easy grass is using a uh, color ramp node. So plug color into color and we want it to look like grass. So if you live somewhere that isn't Canada like me, you could go outside and pick out a piece of grass right from the root and see what it looks like. However, I live in Canada and it's currently covered in snow, so I can't quite do that. However, there's lots of pictures on the internet of a single strand of grass. So this one here is a good example. You can see that uh, it starts off very, very dark and a dark green kind of yellow. And then it 
let's just take an average piece of grass and then it turns into a lighter green and then it turns into a normal grass green and then it goes into a light kind of pale yellow at the and then at the tip it's almost a, a burnt yellow and of course it's very random and that's what gets you the, the grass look but we'll start with just creating a nice uh, healthy field of grass so at the beginning we're gonna want our dark color so let's let's uh, let's bump up the saturation and value here so we can get our green first so we want it in the green range we want it very low saturation and very low value so on a very 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 dark green you could go uh, in the yellow direction too depending on what you're going for there's really not much difference though it's quite a uh, quite a bland color really and then we want to add another one right next to it so that's essentially the root and then coming up from there we would have essentially the same thing so we'll stick with the same hue it's going to be more saturated obviously and it's still going to be quite dark and then we're going to add another one and just keep going down the line. This one will be a little bit uh, lighter, the same amount of saturation. And then, actually that would probably be a little bit further up. That will give us a nice green color in between. And then near the end here, it goes into the yellow hue. So let's move it towards the yellow, kind of that lime green, maybe a little bit further towards the yellow. Kind of a puke green. <laughs> Turn the saturation down and the value down so we get that kind of yeah puke green essentially and then at the tip again like i said it's kind of a burnt yellow so let's go into the yellow hue range closer to brown we'll turn the uh the saturation down a little bit and the value down uh somewhere in the middle although it is fairly light it's it'll take a little bit of tweaking obviously something like that is kind of what i'm thinking so let's see how that looks. So in our emitter, let's make sure we choose grass as our material. And let's let's give it a preview. So we'll go into rendered mode and it's quite dark. So I'm gonna turn on my lamp, which obviously doesn't have enough power. I'm gonna turn into a sun lamp. Whoa, way too much. Strength 100, no, we want one. So as you can see, we have very, very basic grass, but as you can see, it looks like spikes, not, not Wait, what we wanted at all and this is the first issue that you run into when you're creating grass using the hair emitter let's also uh, check off the advanced tab now we want uneven distribution but we want it still random um, we want it jittered or random I guess it wouldn't really matter in this instance really depends what you're looking for random is gonna be more random but jittered gives you a more full uh, a more a fuller looking field I would say. Segments is going to adjust basically you see if I turn it down to one or two I guess is as low as it goes sorry I guess you can't see the difference here but well basically it's basically like a curve and how many segments that curve has is, is how that works. So another few things we need let's see the size obviously we need to come way down 0 decimal 0 10 maybe random size all the way up shape thick we want curve segments however curve subdivisions we want to up that a couple cycles hair settings oh that's something I've never noticed before that really gives you some interesting <laughs> things this is what we want to play with before play with though the uh, the root obviously if we turn it up is going to give us huge spikes like trees so we want to turn that down I think I used zero to small I want to say zero to small one in my old ones but that's quite quite small for our use maybe I'll go for about a quarter again and the tip we want to go up just just a hair and close tip we definitely want enabled in this instance otherwise you get it's hard to see but you get it looks there's it the tip isn't closed it's like it's a it's like it's an empty cylinder so we want the that to be pointed like that so this kind of looks like a field from like farming simulator we obviously need to turn the number up 
However, that is going to take longer to render and such. Some basic grass. The hair dynamics, though, is where we can get some uh, some fun stuff. So quality steps, bump that up a little bit. Forces, Brownonian, I believe if you turn that up, yeah, that gives you that strandy look. So that needs to be adjusted. Very low value, though. I'm going to start with 0 decimal 0 050. Maybe even a little lower than that. 0 decimal 0 025. What else? emitter this is where the curve segments comes into play that we adjust at the top there that obviously needs to be quite a bit lower maybe zero to small zero five again i like that it's still quite thick so maybe we'd take the uh, the root size down a little bit and then we could add some rotation if we wanted just go random all the way up. Normal tangent, I believe, or is it velocity slash hair? I don't believe it has a lot of effect. Random and random with a tiny bit of phase one way or the other. And then, yes, the hair dynamics. So this is where you just gotta play with things and stuff a lot. The, uh, the springiness, a lot of these values really like the stiffness and spring. I really do the same thing as bending bending stiffness and spring really have the same effect you just kind of have to play with them you can see the curve segments here a little bit more I really don't remember good values offhand that's where you would have to take some time to play with them let's turn the quality steps up a little bit more let's turn the segments up a bit more you can see that affects how that affects the grass as well as uh, steps. Now is it B spline we want to check off or strand render? It's one of these. B spline, I think. Now we want some. We could just uh, simply render that out right there. Uh, we would obviously want some more in our field. If you uh, zoom in, you can see that our color ramp isn't having a ton, a ton of. A ton of effect in fact I think it might even be backwards so we could hit the uh, the button to reverse it there turn the factor adjust it till we get a better look good enough for a quick one anyways then uh, just bump up the number to say 25,000 That'll give us a nice field. It's going to take a bit to render that but that is basic grass and then if you wanted Let's go to a side view, even though I'm in perspective. Let's go over here. Let's add in a force field of wind. Let's rotate it along the X 90 degrees. Blender's lagging for some reason. I've noticed that in 2.73 lately. I don't know, it's really been weird. Turn the force up because the strength of one meter per second is very slow. Somewhere around, say, maybe we'll start with uh, 60. Give it a little bit of noise. And so yeah, simple grass is really as simple as that. Um, and then just playing with it a little bit more. I'll, uh, I'll render out a few frames and we'll see what this looks like. So, I, uh, I turned the hair length up quite a bit. And I also... What did I do? I turned the brownonian way up as a result of that to 0.650. And I unchecked Beast Blind and went to Strand Render instead. And other than that, yeah, I didn't change any. Oh, yeah, I just uh, I moved the slider a little bit more so we had a little bit more of a yellowish color to it. And so you can see the effect we have with a nice HDR image. So it's not world class quality uh, grass, but in a pinch it'll definitely do. And from a distance, you'd never notice the difference if this was just going to go into uh, the background of a scene it'd be absolutely perfect so that is all there is to it so here's the animation anyways thanks for watching from the team here at blendertech.com if you enjoyed this video and learned something 
about the particle system or color wraps then please like it and don't forget to subscribe for more videos we're on twitter at twitter.com slash blender tech and facebook at facebook.com slash blender tech page if you dislike this video for some reason please tell us why so we can continually improve our videos based on your community input we also take requests and call for help as you can see as you can see um, i'm gonna be doing the uh, how to build and destroy a building uh, later today as was requested as i thought that'd be a fun one so anyways we'll see you guys next time and remember create your way